friends, uh, business associates in the U.S. and around the world that are interested in China. Some of them are coming to China to do business. 但是现在有时候他们给我打电话，他们问我啊，你你可以告诉我一本一本书我需要看，所以我我我会我会明白中国的传统。呃，我我想学习那个那个普通话。So I give them advice and say. Four or five or six months before you come to China, buy some books on Chinese culture and the history of China.、Um, do more than just read articles in the newspaper and watch the television telling you about China and the Olympics or telling you about、um, you know some of the things that China is doing today.、Um, buy some books, learn about Chinese culture, learn about Chinese history. And you will have a lot more success in business, and with relationships, and with communication when you arrive in China. Some of them have have done that, and some of them have not. So, some of them have arrived in China. I got Ina Richen, Yogi Richen. This year, they come to China. They 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 Uh, 大概留给我以前，到现在，啊、呃，他们常常给我打电话。现在我不知道，我觉得我给我给我的客人一个问题，我给我的我的朋友一个问题。I said， no, 不是我的问题，是是你的。<笑>我我我会帮你，但是，但是你应该学习。It's you need to learn. You need to learn about Chinese culture and history if you're going to build strong relationships here. Okay, so to strengthen business communication in China, I highlighted six points here that Westerners should do.、Uh, again, Westerners include Americans and, and primarily Europeans. Okay, as an American,、uh, as I just mentioned, I have some colleagues and, and friends and business associates that have come to China,、um, and some of these they've learned the hard way, as I did in the beginning. I, I, I learned the value of, of culture and Chinese history in everyday life in China. So, and this goes in addition to this list. This goes for both sides.、Um, in China,、um, it's very common. 如果如果呃如果明天下午我有一个很重要的开会，和我的我的我的呃大概我的我的呃公司的律师。呃，那个律师，我们有一个重要的开会。我们在那个那个房间那个开会的时候